Third and six. Taylor, flag thrown. Taylor dragged down from the back. Terrell Suggs among the defenders getting to Taylor. Also Zachary Orr. Well, this Ravens defense, Dean Pease, the coordinator, he's got him dialed up. Take a look. That's Zach Orr getting initial penetration. Suggs coming in, then Timmy Jernigan. And they're sound. You got to start hitting yeah. shots down the field. And Bortles steps up in the pocket. He's hit and gets away. Still with some life, looking for somebody. And he's taken down. He's got to get rid of the football. Sub. And, but I think putting Smith on Robinson, the right choice. Yeah, the same size, basically, between the two as Bortles is dragged down at the 28 yard line. Well, we mentioned T. Suggs. T. Sizzle that he was kind of quiet in the first half and he was able to pick up the sack and yeah, one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of the screen Terrell Suggs against Luke Jokel and this was a big part of this I thought Jokel was in good shape but it's just Suggs falling inside Bortles Cousins being pressured and they got it sacked by Terrell Suggs his fourth sack of the season He's coming back from injury and playing pretty strong. It really is, and it's a difficult injury to come back from the second Achilles he's had in his career. It's just amazing at this stage to see him come back and get at the level that he's playing at, coming from that right side, inside, working with Elvis Doomerville. That's a tough combination when you've got Terrell Suggs down inside and Elvis Doomerville. And in from behind, he goes down. Terrell Suggs. Well, and Eric Flowers gets beat right off the snap. Last week, Clay Matthews got him a couple of times. This time, Suggs really haven't announced. Plays in the running game, and then Webb back there made some great plays last week. Here we go. Uh, they got the strip sack here by Suggs, and then the recovery. And the Ravens come up with another turnover. Matthew Judon, a rookie out of Grand Valley State. As the recovery, so T sizzle around the corner. I can remember a day when sacks were quarterbacks getting drilled in the back. Now they all look like this. The guy's coming around the edge, and all you want to do is knock the ball out because statistically now he's going to get credit for a sack, a forced fumble, turnover, and there you go. Working against Joe Thomas, he has two of those now. Everything but the recovery. Yeah, he really got off to a great start this season and then had that uh, biceps injury and slowed down a bit, but he looks like he's returning to form now. Still a two-possession game. Dalton stripped to the ball. Diving on top of it. Oh, boy, he. Terrell Suggs knocked it loose. The second time today that he's got a strip sack. Last one resulted in a 10-yard loss there. He clearly knocks the ball away from Dalton. Fortunately, Burkhead in. Fake it. Dalton. Behind. Gets hit by Suggs. Ball popped in the air. Ruling on the field is a fumble that went forward out of bounds. We'll bring it back to the spot of fumble. Brings up second down. Definitely a fumble. You could see he got to the ball. So give Suggs another sack and another forced fumble. Lose 10 yards on the play. Because that's where the fumble occurred. Was 10 yards behind the line.